Hey friends out there, Robert Ham here with Ham Camera Company and I'm excited to share with you the launch of the New Box One Modern Box Camera for you savvy photographers out here in today's fun photography age. There is a revival of film photography happening right now and what better way to jump in it to a 6x9 medium format camera like the New Box One by Ham Camera. Let me share with you just a little bit of information before we jump into the specs for this guy. I know that this video is very important and I didn't want to fill it with a video montage or something so I just want to real talk with you for a minute and share with you why I started this. The whole idea came to me when I was at grandmother's house after shooting a wedding. I'm a wedding photographer by trade. I was down in North Carolina and I saw a box camera similar to this and when grandmother got talking to me about the camera and then I realized it was still filming the camera and she speculated that it's the film from her and my grandfather's wedding and things like that. That got me thinking about film that's 70 years old. And it really pulled on my heartstrings because I never met my grandfather. He passed away before I was born. How sad. But it was in that moment looking down at the actual viewfinder of the camera through my grandmother that I realized that experience is gone, but the memories remain. And that's something that digital doesn't often give. We've all lost images. And because I like, you know, beautiful photography, because I'm into that sort of thing, I thought, wow, why not offer such a classic experience, an experience like a box camera that brought family photography to a whole generation of people 100 years ago? Why not bring it back? Why not revive it? So guys, I'm here to tell you that today the box is back and it's in the form of the new box one by Ham Camera. This is a modern box camera just for you. When I talk about it being savvy, I'm very serious. Of course, it maintains its simple point and shoot ergonomics. However, we've got one thing that we added to it that you're gonna like, and that's an interchangeable lens design when you change the cartridges. The standard lens cartridge is absolutely a 50 standard lens, roughly about 55 millimeters and in, in, in 35 millimeter equivalent. That's really great. But when you change cartridges, we are offer, also offering a six by nine telephoto as well as a six by nine wide angle. The telephoto will be somewhere around 90 millimeters. The wide angle will be something about 32, maybe 28, somewhere in there. And those will launch in July. Now, a couple of things that we want to think about as we're moving forwards is that being the big headlining feature isn't actually the only feature. We've included a 1 200th of a second shutter speed with all of our cameras. And oh, by the way, this is real. We're not talking about a great idea that someone has that needs you to help fund. The funding that you do by backing this project is actually funding the production line because guess what? We've already produced the cameras. We've got the working prototypes right now that you can use. And, oh, by the way, we've made beautiful images with them so far, just like this. Now, these are circulating over on my website. You can see them over at Ham Camera. You've seen them over on Chris Gampat's website. You know him, the photographer. He's got a big write-up in an interview with me over there. Also, we're not done, the Sunny 16, Graham, Rachel, they had a great conversation with myself and Andre just the other day. That should be up by the time you're watching this as well. And we've got some work going on with the Film Photography Pop Project. Uh, Mike Rosso over there and I have decided to donate some film cameras to their film donation program. And that's all based on you guys' support here. How cool is that? Getting back to talking about the actual lens cartridge itself, here it is. You can see the cartridge, and this is the standard cartridge. It's got about a 95 millimeter focal length. We've got a, a beautiful lens in the front. This is a glass lens. You can see it doing its little glass thing right there. How cool is that? And this is the part that really makes the magic happen. See, in the future, once this is successfully funded, we'll be offering those other telephoto and wide angle lengths, which is really cool. However, we wanted to go a little bit further. Inside, we've lined the inside of the boxes with photographers felt really nice, really, really nice. That allows us to help isolate the inside from the outside. Of course, we're also using a, uh, a very opaque plastic so light doesn't penetrate anyways. But as we line it up, we have our beautiful winding keys that create a beautiful two-prong buffet that keep the light from going through. And these are beautiful pressure fit, which is really nice. But we're also including two sets in every single box for you. So now, with the film loaded and the camera together, all we have to do is put on our back plate right here, and we're ready to go. At this point in time, you'd wind it, and then we'd shoot, click the little button right there. Now, this particular model is important and we like it because we've got some other things to share with you and that is the aperture stick. We've got an aperture stick right here that we just pushed down. The camera is designed to work 
at f22 out and about. We also have the standard apertures of f16 and f32. What that means is that if you're on any of those apertures, then everything's going to be in focus from roughly six to seven feet out to infinity. And that's great because that allows us to offer that beautiful point and shoot experience. At uh, ISO 200 speed film, F22, on a bright sunny day, will get you out beautiful consistent exposures. If you get into a little shady area, open 22 up to 16, you get great. If you're in a really bright area, go from 22 to 32. It's real simple. And because it's simple, we also share with you that information on the aperture stick itself. We'll have that right there as well as in the manual. So this camera is designed to be a point and shoot for entry level medium format photography. However, it's also savvy enough to give really great depth of field effects for the really aspiring photographer. Check this out. This is one of the images right here. You can see a lot of them on the website. Uh, you can see them over at Ham Camera. You can see them over at uh, Chris Gampat's site. Um, just look for the new box one. And the reason that's important is because understanding zone focusing means that we can open up and get some really shallow depth of fields for things like F8, F11, and really F5.6. And that's very exciting to be able to offer in a box camera. So that's what we've done. But through this whole project, we've realized something very, very important. We realized our place was not just to create a great camera. I mean, the box is back. We've done it. We realized that our place in the film photography world is to create reference hardware for the new brand and new type of aspiring photographer. And do you know who that is? That's the maker community. I am excited to begin to welcome the maker community to the photography world because with the prevalence and ease of access to 3D printers and with our knowledge, we are set up in a perfect spot to help foster that development community. And wow, I can only think of the great things that will come from it. So that's what we want to do. That's what we're here to do. And that's why we're telling you the box is back. A final note, the black box edition, which is just a black box like that, will begin at $79. All of the editions have the exact same internals. The only difference that you're paying for is the trim because of the processing that goes through it. Our uh, weathered series has a 10-step process to get this beautiful look to it right here. You can see this worn wearing. That also means that Although 3D printed, this has a great hand feel. It doesn't feel like plastic. It's been sanded. It's been moved smooth. It's been molded. It's been painted. It also means that it will wear very similar to old wood or leather. It's really nice. And continuing that right along, we do happen to have our Leatherette series, which is our vintage series. This is book brown. I just want to share this with you right here. You can see that we've got the raised panels with the inset leather, the 10-step weathering process right there. This is actually a PVC Leatherette, which is really nice. It's going to be long-lasting, durable, doesn't require any maintenance, won't peel and, and, and crack on you after 10 years or anything else like that. And also, because we're making these with the process that we are, the cameras are very durable, and we're offering a lifetime warranty to back that up. We believe in these cameras. They're very strong, and we want you to use them from now on until eternity or until you can't use them anymore when you send them to us for us to fix. Guys, I want to thank you for checking this out. If you'd like to back us and help us, even a dollar gets a thank you on our welcome wall. Become a sponsor of Ham Camera. Five dollars gets you a sticker. We'll ship that over to you. And then the other options that we've got are the boxes at uh, 79 uh, 119 and 169 for the different series that they are. Uh, guys, I want to thank you for watching and remind you, I'm Robert Ham and the box is back.